Hello students. Welcome to the English Learners World video program. I am your English teacher, Vicky. And today I will talk about parts of speech. A language is primarily spoken. We use sentences or phrases to convey our messages and sentences are made of words. Words in language play very important role. Words are divided into eight categories called parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, interjections. Let me explain this in detail. Have a look at the slide on your screen. Now you see on your screen there are eight parts of speech in English language. They are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Parts of speech are in fact classification of words as per their function. For example, some words they express action they are called verb some others which express a thing or person they are called noun while others which join one word to another word they are called conjunctions nouns a noun is the name of a person place thing animal quality abstract idea etc for example, Steve, Rahul. Steve is the name of a person, so it's called noun. Place. We see the example of London and Amritsar. These are the name of places. They are also called noun. The name of things. Two examples given there. Fan, chair. In quality or abstract noun, beauty honesty dear students now it's your turn to fill these blanks a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun we have seven pronouns in english i we you he she it they i we are first person you is second person he she it they are third person look at these examples carefully you see tom what tom is saying please read hello i'm here tom is using i instead of his name so i is replacing his name and his name tom is noun so a word which replace a noun is called pronoun now look at the second example his friend is saying hey you look nice so instead of saying tom he is using the word you so you is replacing tom now you is pronoun look at the example of girls tanya is saying sam is my friend she is very nice look at the example of guys there katrina andy maria tanya sam they all are saying we are happy so all those names are replaced by the word we rahul is my brother blank studies in seven standard now you have to think yourself which pronoun will be suitable for this blank adjectives adjectives are words which modify a noun or pronoun for example it is an old pen old is adjective it's a red pen now its quality is its color and it is red there are more examples for you. Ram is a tall boy. 
so tall is adjective the monkey is cute monkey is noun and cute is adjective so these were the examples adjectives modifying nouns below you can see the examples of adjectives modifying pronouns i found him interesting him is pronoun and interesting is adjective that adjective interesting is modifying him again some blanks for you you can take the help of the teacher if you are watching this video in the classroom verbs a verb is a word which shows some action or state of being example is given there steve is reading a book reading is here verb tom helps tina in homework help is a verb here it's a fine day today is is a verb now some blanks for you adverb is a word or phrase which modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb they express manner place time frequency etc answering these questions like how in what way when where and to what extent you can see the example given there he ran yesterday when yesterday he ran there where there there is adverb how he ran quickly how quickly quickly is adverb adverbs modifying verb some examples are given there are the words of adverb she sang beautifully how beautifully beautifully is adverb and sang is verb he runs fast runs is verb and fast is adverb there are more example you can see adverbs modifying adjectives she is very beautiful so what is she she is pronoun is is verb beautiful here is adjective and very is adverb that very is modifying beautiful and beautiful is adjective he drives a very fast car what is car here car is noun fast is adjective and very is adverb he awakes usually early now both these usually and early are adverbs so usually which is adverb is modifying early which is also adverb she smiles what is she she is pronoun what is smiles smiles is verb often is adverb and very is again adverb so very which is a adverb is modifying often adverb modifying another adverb some more examples are given there now we move on to prepositions a preposition is a word or phrase which precedes a noun or a pronoun to show the nouns or pronouns relationship to another word in the sentence some prepositions are given there about above across after against along behind below there are about 80 to 100 prepositions in english language he is fond of music of what is of here it is preposition the cat is under the chair what is under under is preposition and what is chair chair is noun the word preposition comes from the idea of being positioned before it is not true to say that a preposition always precedes a noun or a pronoun 
but it does most of the time for example this is something i cannot agree with now you see carefully with is coming at the end of a sentence how many of you can i rely upon again upon is a preposition and it is coming at the end of a sentence conjunctions are generally joining words they join one sentence with another sentence example is given there j saw a dog on the road he decided to adopt the road he decided to adopt the dog j brought the dog home now you see one two three sentences there but if we use conjunctions wisely then we don't need these three sentences we can join them and make it one j saw a dog on the road and decided to adopt the dog so he brought the dog home coordinating conjunctions they are for and no but or yet soon steve and sham are classmates what is and and is a conjunction subordinating conjunction while as soon as although before etc correlative conjunction either or neither no not only but also both and these are some of the examples of correlative conjunctions both my sister and my father are teachers i cannot decide whether i'll take humanities or take medical in college whether and or correlative conjunctions both and and correlative conjunctions interjections are words used to express sudden strong feeling or sudden emotions alas oh hurray lo oops ahem <clears throat> and they are generally used at the start of a sentence to express surprise disgust joy excitement etc some of the examples ahem <clears throat> the sound of someone clearing their throat and means attention or listen oops an exclamation which generally people use when they accidentally do something yahoo to express joy or happiness there are more examples hurray i have won the toss alas she has failed again alas is used to express sadness thank you thanks for watching this video for more such video kindly visit www.englishlearnersworld.com thanks